What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the Cybertruck for another quick video. Tesla has just released Tesla Vision Park Assist for the Cybertruck. So this is not Auto Park. We haven't quite gotten that yet. This is not Autopilot. This is not FSD. This is improved 3D visualizations of the environment around you when you are parking the Cybertruck, which if you've watched my full review was one of the things that I mentioned is imperative that they get out for this thing because it is so tough to park. Not only is it kind of unwieldy size wise, but it's also just hard to tell with the proportions, how close things are to you in the front, where you're at in a spot. It's just a little bit tricky. So now, as you can see here on screen, we've got Tesla Vision Park Assist, which displays a high fidelity 3D representation of the world around your vehicle, including the proximity and shapes of nearby objects, barriers, vehicles, and painted road markings. The painted road markings part is the most important to me. You can use Park Assist with or without audible feedback, and it's for guidance purposes only and is not a substitute for a real driver. Remain attentive. Yeah, we know. So this isn't something necessarily I think you can make a full video out of. Like I can't, you know, make a 20 minute video talking about Park Assist, but I thought we could come to this parking lot and we could test out the park assist and kind of see how accurate it really is. So what we'll do is I'll park in some different spots according to how I would park in a parking lot full of cars based on what the cameras are seeing on the park assist rendering. Then we'll hop out and check how accurate it actually is based on what is displayed on the screen. So let's go ahead and just uh, park in this spot in front of me and we'll go just based on the cameras here and we'll do just a straight on park job here. Another thing you might notice are the adaptive beams coming off of the truck that will adjust based on how you turn. This isn't a new feature. Plenty of other cars have this, but super helpful here on the Cybertruck. But yeah, you can see that there. But if we go ahead and just pull into the spot, you can notice this wall rendering here and it's actually this kind of grass bar right here. Again, solely based on the representation here. And when it tells us to stop, we're gonna go ahead and stop. I crept a little bit more forward. In my experience, that's pretty much how it works with my Model 3. When it says stop, you have like another like inch or two. Um, so I like to do that just to get it, you know, compactly in. But if you wanna go ahead and stop when it says stop, you can. So here's what it looks like on the screen here. It basically shows us essentially touching the grass there. Then if we hop out, we are not. Like we have a good, maybe like two hands width away from the grass there. So again, when it says stop, you usually have a little bit more space where you can go. This is again using just the cameras up front. So, you know, with this giant piece of glass and, you know, relatively large front hood here, you know, it's tough to kind of get accurate representations without ultrasonic sensors or radar or anything like that. But that is a pretty safe estimation of when you need to stop. Now, again, you can move forward a little bit more. That's why I say, you know, when it says stop, maybe nudge it forward just a hair. But we are in the lines here. That is very accurate for sure. Real quick, I wanted to say a huge shout out to Yeslack for sending me some of these Cybertruck accessories here. We've got some uh, mud flaps here. We've got some, I think these are wheel cap covers. Yep. So they go right there, that'll look nice. And I think we also have some under seat organizers. I'll have to install those in a separate video, but uh, just wanted to give them a huge shout out for sending me this stuff for the Cybertruck. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on here. If you guys wanna buy any of these accessories or any of Yeslack's other Tesla accessories, I'll have a link down in the description where you can get 20% off using code METSTECH. All right, now let's try one in reverse here. I'm gonna go over here next to these wood pallets. So we'll park it in this spot here. And again, solely going off of, we got the cameras up, so it's kind of split screen here, but solely going off that, I'm in the center of the lane or the parking spot. I'm gonna keep going back a little more. All right, let's see when it says stop. I'm gonna go forward again. I'm gonna back it up again. When it says stop, stop, and it turns kind of red, I'm gonna go back a tiny bit more. All right, it shows that I'm pretty far in the red here, but let's go ahead and check outside. I'm not touching the grass with the wheels, but the back of the car or the back of the truck is sticking over. So let's say there was another car here or a wall or something like that, you would have hit the wall for sure. So it really is just gonna depend how you're parking and where you're parking. 
and probably a good idea in that scenario when you're backing in and there's something directly behind you to go ahead and stop when it says stop and not give it that extra little cushioning. Because if I would have stopped where it said stop, I bet the bumper would have been like here. All right, there's a spot over here between these two semis and I'm gonna see what it looks like when I do. Oof. Sometimes I forget about the acceleration in this thing. I go over here and put myself in between these. So there is a parking spot between these, so I should fit. We'll see what this renders these as. Kind of just amorphous blobs right now. So it's saying stop, but there's nothing there. I know that for a fact. Kind of just blobs again. Let's see if it sees these trees. Not really. <laughs> I mean, kind of. All right, so it says stop now. So it's rendered it almost as like a tunnel with these two semis on either side of me here. And uh, it does kind of see the bushes here a little bit as you can see them kind of sticking out here. But uh, it looks super close in the backup camera here. Let's go ahead and park and hop out and see how close we actually are to that bush. Oh yeah, we're real close. Probably, what, four inches? So that's pretty accurate based on what it looked like on the camera. So that's all I really wanted to show you guys is just kind of how this high fidelity works on the Cybertruck. Now, of course, we've had this on most other vehicles for a while now. I've had it on my Model 3 for a long time. I think the entire time. Yeah, the entire time. It's a cool feature. Again, super, super helpful here on the Cybertruck. I view it as almost an essential feature on the Cybertruck, so I'm so grateful that it's finally here. It's gonna make all this just run-of-the-mill parking so much easier. I mean, stuff like this, when I didn't have this feature just a couple days ago, and I was trying to park this, like, it didn't give you this visualization at all. Like, you just kind of had to look down and kind of figure out where you think you were. It was really, really difficult and not good. So I'm glad we've got this in a high-fidelity, accurate way. Now, it'll make just life with the Cybertruck so much easier, at least until we get Auto Park, FSD, Autopilot, all that kind of stuff. So that's all I really got for this video. I know it's a little short one, but I uh, thought I'd just bring you guys along, show you how that works. Let me know if there's anything you guys want me to try with this updated feature, and we'll be sure to check it out. But I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Let me know down in the comments what you think about High Fidelity Park Assist being on the Cybertruck now. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be one of the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.